Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some hey, fun. Hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, today we're going to shift gears and start a new project. And uh, hey, I think we should just bring you right into it. And so the other day, um, uh, for the first time in a long time, I used my steady rest, and uh, that it's the steady rest that came with this lathe, and I believe it's the steady rest that was made for this lathe. Uh, and it's back here uh, in uh, its yeah, casting kind of dink more. around with bronze followers because as it, as everything heats up, it uh, the metal expands and it, it gets tighter and then it gets hotter and then it gets tighter and then it gets hotter and and so it, it you know it leaves rub marks in the uh, in the work itself. So um, I decided, okay, uh, we need to put rollers on this. But there's no way to put rollers on that one, so I think we're going to just have to make another one and maybe unload that one or whatever. And uh, so I'm kind of digging around the shop trying to figure out well, how am I going to do this, you know, as the, as the job is going. And, uh, and I came up with an idea. So we're going to go over to the other table and uh, have a look. Well, no, actually, we're going to go to the lathe right now and have a look and see what I can. So have. I'm looking around, and lo and behold, uh, this ring that I've had laying around for, oh, I don't know, a couple of years now, ever since I got the, um, the uh, shop press built, it, it came, actually, it and a bunch of other metal came with the shop press. And just the other day, I, I machined it out and got it all kind of nice, nice and cleaned up to use on the uh, vice project. But then I went, oh man, this will make a perfect um, steady rest. So I just kind of set that aside and I found myself a piece of uh, steel that I can, and then I put a V in it. And as you can see, you're kind of following along with... Uh, directions I went without the camera but then of course this thing is way too high right here center right in here so we need to drop this down a bit and figure out uh, what we're gonna do about getting that down so I kind of dinked around with it a little bit and uh, came up with an arch right in there I don't know if you can see it or not but at some point you'll be able to uh, that if we cut this arch out, we can slide the ring right into the arch. It'll be perfectly centered, and then we can just throw a weld on that, and that will have the bases of a um, of a um, steady rest. So let's take this off, and. Uh, so let's go over to the mill because this is going to have to be cut with the mill. I think I might come in with the with the saw and saw out a big V here just to get rid of a bunch of the metal. But uh, I'm not sure just right, quite so yet. So we can cut this radius out uh, by putting it on the rotary table and running it back and forth on the rotary table. Well, yeah, that'll work just fine. Except the problem is, is that this is a, an 11 inch radius and the rotary table is 12 inches so uh, we're kind of hanging out there on the edge a bit actually you know it actually looks pretty good hmm. well I don't know I was what I was going to do is I was going to take this sheet of uh, steel and just throw a couple of tack welds on here so I can add something to grip to. But I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that it actually looks pretty good. We're gonna, let's put a pointer in there and see what we, see how close we can get it without it falling off the edge, falling off the ends of the earth. Size up. There we go. Uh, 
one. Now we've got this set at 545, which is halfway. We'll bring this down. And then, of course, we're going to answer that phone. All right, well, we know the arch is reasonably critical to keep the ring centered in the lathe, uh, but not within five thousandths or two thousandths or half a thousandths. It's more critical within, you know, maybe even an eighth of an inch. Uh, but, you know, we're going to stay reasonably accurate here. And the way we're going to do that is with the, uh, with the tap follower. We're just going to go right onto the top of the line here and we'll rotate it all the way around and we're on top of the line all the way okay so now we need to measure the the width of our of our um bit which is half an inch and so uh, we're at 545 so we're going to come back a half an inch so that this bit will just kiss that that line so that's going to be easy we're going to go five inches even well actually 450 so f four inches okay we're going to just come back the 50 or the 30, 20, 10, 5. There's 5 inches. And that's just about Let's right. Pull the um, cam follower, or the <laughs> cam follower, the um, tap follower. Put this in, snug it down. bring it down here and let's see where it where it lands when it starts to cut I'm seeing that we are dead on that line can you see that okay so we're dead on that line and we'll just kind of skim along here following our Yep, and we're just going to take up the slack a little bit. We'll do a hundred at a time. And we're off and running.
All right, we're gonna let this thing cool down a bit because it's gotten pretty hot. So uh, we'll come back. Okay, so we've got uh, one more pass here to get it down to fairly thin. And if you notice that uh, there's nothing holding on to this piece, which is the piece we want to keep. So uh, what I'm going to do is just get uh, something to support it. And we're going to take this down fairly thin. And it'll still kind of hang in there. And also what I did is I uh, opened this up just a little bit both directions. Just so that uh, the bit wasn't really binding on that hole. Uh, and then we'll get it down real thin. And then I'm going to... Uh, cut through on this side, take it to the center, and then cut and then maybe jump a, an inch and then cut through on this side. And then we'll just take it over to the saw and cut off that little piece. And that piece is where we're gonna weld it. So shape, it won't sh even show. All right, let's, uh, and everything's nice and cooled off and uh, let's uh, get started. Okay, we got it down to a very thin little web there. Now what I just realized, and I'm going to walk around the other side, is I have one support in the center of, for this thing here. And as soon as we get down fairly thin, this thing's going to rock, which is going to rock the whole thing. So we're going to pull the supports out of this and slide them in here. By the way, this thing has already lost its integrity because these things were tighter than hell when we first put them in. So, yep, and look at that. I can't get it in that side. So we're going to just loosen it a little bit. There it goes. And now slide it in there. Come on. Tighten that back up, good and snug, and we'll do the other side. Slip that in someplace right about in there. Tighten her back up. <clears throat> Make sure everybody's got a good bind going. <clears throat> that one's nice and tight. That one's nice and tight. Okay. So now we're going to drop below the surface. We're going to cut all the way to the, about the center here. 
we'll bring it back up and jump and then go and finish it up. So then we'll have just this one little thing hanging out. And I think what we want to do is some kind of catch. Maybe just a rag. That might just do it. Okay, we're gonna come, oops, nope, nope, nope. Drop this down below the surface. Let's see how that's gonna work. Gonna take it. Hit a bit. Shouldn't have. Yep, just one little corner. Give that a try. Oh, still hitting. seeing anything. Oh, <laughs> we're hitting the, uh, the, um, the, um, hold down. So, let's loosen that up. back to where we want to be. Okay, now I want to see what this inside wall looks like because it's possible that there's a step. I have to get my cheater glasses on. I'm seeing just a minor step. Maybe five thousandths. But I think we're going to have to just go with it because the uh, if I move it over it's going to hit this upper part of the shaft 
and it's going to bind anyhow, so there'll still be a step there. Yes. All right, not bad. Yeah, we got just a little bit of a step right there. But I think we can just go ahead and take a and hit it with a grinder or something like that. We've got the rest of this as our our flat, so I think we're in good shape. All right, so let's clean up this mess and see what we can All come right, up let's with. Let's use our newly reconditioned grinder to, to work on this. Okay, let's give it a try. We'll put that there. We'll get our ring and put it up in there. And we've got just enough room on either side for a weld. Pretty good so far. Now what we need to do is bring in our Bring in our um, tail stock and measure everything, make sure we got it right. Put a center in, bring our tail stock up, and whip it on them. And that looks pretty good. Okay, take some measurements, and my head's going to be in the way, but we'll just have to do that for a second. Let's see, is there another way we can do this? Oh, no, here's a way. Well, we're not going to get much view from there, but we'll, I'll just tell you what it says. We're looking at three... And almost eight three seven seventy five, and on this side we're looking at three seven thirty, and here we're looking at three seven fifty and three seven twenty, or something like that. So. Yes, we're not dead center, but we don't have to be. This is, you know, this adjusts all the way around. So, but I think we've got the beginnings of a good steady rest. We certainly have enough metal to work with to give us what we need. Slider. Our... Uh, everything back and there we well, I think go. we're gonna stop at this point because we have a garden party to go to it's a Sunday spring afternoon it's just a beautiful day and uh, hey let's take some time off Nick Collier checking out see you tomorrow okay well there's many things that need to be done here but one is is we need to make a clamp for so that when we open this up and close it we've got a uh, some kind of a clamp that we can grip it down and uh, I think uh, I cut this piece of metal just a little while ago I think it's going to fit just right except that there's a gap here and a gap here so we're going to take 
the uh, the same radius as we did here and just take that radius out so uh, we're gonna go over the mill and do that okay well once again and and we're set up at uh, 5 inches 375 thousandths from center and once again we're out at the edge of our table so uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and just throw a little weld bead right there in that in the center there and then I may have to come out and put one on the outside too and then I'll be able to and I, you can see I just caught that corner and then I'll be able to cut that both sides of it and uh, and then get that arch and then come back and well so once I get the arch on this side it's going to break that weld off and the other side I'll just have a small tack just enough to kind of hang on to it and and that side will just snap off and and grind it back so I think that's what we're going to do here let's go over to the welding tape do that. All right, well, we've got it to cut. Now we just need to separate it. And I'm thinking that's pretty good. Let's get a screwdriver in the mix, and I think we'll have it. There it goes. Piece of cake. Take it over to the grinder, take off those uh, edges. Uh, take off the sharp edges here and we'll have it together.